Rev up your engine! Yes, it's true, I'm moving my operations to Tennessee. Stay tuned because I'm gonna be giving away a bunch of stuff. Here comes number one, this giant jack. Now this is a three ton super duty high performance jack that came from Harbor Freight Tools. Modern cars are low to the ground, you need a low to the ground jack. And you also need one that's relatively fast. Nobody likes waiting forever pumping the stupid handle, so it's a double pumper, see? It's got two, so there's two pistons, twice the pressure. I had no problems jacking up the biggest things I work on. Big old 350 Ford trucks. No problem jacking them up. Great jacking, I'm giving it away. Now if you watch my videos, you'll know that to fill your car with refrigerant correctly, you really need a scale. Now I bought this one years ago, it was 150 bucks, and I couldn't find it. So guess what I did? I bought another one, which is right here. Do I need two of them? Of course not. I only need one. That one still works perfectly fine. Modern cars, the refrigerant in them has to be so accurate. And this thing is an extremely accurate scale. You weigh how much refrigerant goes in. And let's say it takes 1.04 kilograms. You put in 1.08 kilograms. The scale is extremely accurate. Now all mechanics have these, but most do-it-yourselfers, they don't spend 150 bucks on a scale. Well, some lucky person's going to win this, and they get it for nothing. Just stay tuned to the end of the video to see how you can win it. If you ever look closely at my Celica, I put one of these back shields on a driver's seat. I'm getting old. This was designed by an orthopedic surgeon for the small of your back, the middle of your back, bottom and top of your seat, and it's made out of really hard plastic. Unlike a lot of the back supports that collapse over time, I've had mine for about three years now, and it's still all solid. Got enough cushion, it's okay but you want a nice solid piece on your back when you're driving. I have no problems driving long distances with this behind me. And the cool thing is, it just comes on and off the seat. Bring it with you on the airplane. <laughs> Put it in your rental car. Probably lasts a lifetime. And I'm giving it away. So if you got back problems, stay tuned to the end. Maybe I can solve your back problems too. Scotty can do all kinds of things. What is this giant thing? Well, if you have to ask, you're not gonna want it. But if you own an electric car, you are going to want it. This is an electronic car charger. It's a 220 volt. They charge a lot faster and it costs you less money to charge them with 220. You can even plug it in where your dryer is. It's got to be a 220 volt receptacle. You follow the long line. You want it long so it can reach to your car. This, of course, plugs into your electric car. I'm giving one of these away. It's a cordless digital inflator. It's cordless. You can recharge it either from your cigarette lighter or in your house, and then you can fill your tires up with air without messing around with wires all over the place. As you can see here, they got you prepared for anything. You can charge it with 100 volts, 240 volts, 12.6 volts, or 12 volt DC adapter. Now I got one of my wife's car because we had an old one, you had to plug in a cigarette lighter, move it around. She said, I don't know how to use that thing, it's too complicated, right? Well, if you got this gun in the trunk, all you gotta do is screw it into the tire and push a button and it tells you what the pressure is. Anybody can use that. That's why I put one in my wife's car. I got three or four of these, so I'm giving the ones away that I didn't put in my wife's trunk. <laughs> this one's called BT760. Simple, you put it on the battery. It tests your battery. It tests your alternator. Hey, can you trust people these days? No, you can't. So, if you have a machine like this, you can see if your battery's working, you can see if your alternator's working, you don't have to trust anybody except yourself. Now, if you want to buy a brand new one, they're like 105 bucks on Amazon, and they work quite well. Are you really going to want to buy one of these things? If you're just checking your own battery, you might say, hey, if I can get a battery for 100 bucks, why should I get a machine to check it? I'll just replace the battery. Well, in this case, not only can you check the battery, but you can also check the alternator, and it's going to cost you nothing because I'm giving it away. It's getting filled up, so I'm only putting on the top of it now. I'll have to start another giveaway box. If you want to do your own brake job, but you don't have the tools, you're going to love this brake retractor set. What it does is it squeezes pads back in. Very simple design. And with all the different adapters it has, it fits just about any car out there. These are really handy for those cars that have rear discs, but the emergency brakes turn the caliper for the emergency brake too. So when you got to retract it to change the pads and squeeze it in, you have to both turn it in and squeeze it at the same time. So as it's squeezing it in, you'll see it's turning. And that turns the piston so it goes back in. Get a big old pair of pliers 
and squeeze those rear calipers in where the rear calipers are both the regular brakes and the emergency brakes and they then squeeze it so hard they're not turning it they're just squeezing they break the emergency brake then when they're done doing the brake job the car stops but when they pull on the emergency brake it doesn't stop it no longer works because they broke it if you are working on one of those cars you need one of these that turns and squeezes at the same time I'm giving it away I got three of them <laughs> again I've lost some <laughs> now I'm finding them cleaning out the garage so you get to benefit by my stupidity of losing all these things in my morass garage and what do I see hanging over here it's a cool portable light it's made by a company called Mechanic. it's grooved in this little hockey puck thing that's magnetic and this is grooved wherever you stick it you can turn it wherever you want and it really is a great light it's got various levels of intensity that you can mess around with now the only thing that I had against this tool was I really believe that it's overpriced they're asking too much money for it but I'm giving it away so you're getting it for nothing so the price is right and it really is a handy light stick it on anything that's metallic it even sticks up there and you can point the light wherever you want it is a handy tool the hood of most cars is metal so it's really good for working on cars and as I said since one of you lucky viewers is getting it for nothing who cares what it costs <laughs> I gave another one away, but it was a used one. Now I'm going to give a new one away. This is a combustion leak tester by Lyle. It comes with the fluid and the tester, and you can test to see if your head gasket's blown. You want to see how this thing works? Just watch my video, how to tell if your head gasket is blown, and you'll see how it works. It's very good, and I've never used this because I hung it up on a wall, and then I forgot to look at the wall, so it's going in the giveaway box too. Somebody's going to get a brand new one that I didn't even use yet. Well, what else is hanging on the wall? Here's a really nice set of crow's foot wrenches. And again, I know somewhere in there I have two more sets. I kept losing them, so I just went out and bought new ones. They're fantastic because you can see there's only one section missing. So they can go over pipe or any kind of special nut where you can't get a socket on it. You put a ratchet on it and you can take things off. One of the biggest uses of these is when you're taking any kind of hydraulic line, power steering hoses, brake lines, because they fit on and then with a the big ratchet they break loose and you don't have to worry about stripping them. If you use a regular wrench it's only got a little bit of surface area and they'll strip. Just look at the difference. Here's an open end wrench. You can't get a socket on it so you got to use the open end. It's only got that little bit to grab but look at this. It's got one, two, three, four parts of grabbing instead of two. They won't strip it like these will. They're very handy. This is metric because almost all cars are metric. I know somewhere in there I have a set of these for English from when I was a young kid working on American cars all the time when American cars also had inch quarter inches instead of metric but I mean the American car manufacturers were gone to the metric system a long time ago so this is handy for most cars and metrics. In the giveaway box it goes. Covered in dust is this smart flare it's an emergency flare if you need to stop at night or maybe you see an accident you want to warn people you want an emergency flare you want it to work this took the ultimate test it's been sitting for like six years on the shelf right it is battery operated so let's see if the smart flare works it still works and truth be told you don't know how many of these things i've tried out sometimes six months later the battery's dead and they don't work these well made they got all kinds of different warning flashing things you can put them on they're real handy and I do have to say hey if six years later this thing's still working buy a new one put it in your trunk I can just about guarantee you it's going to work at least six years maybe it'll last 12 years whoever's going to win this they can find out <laughs> if they leave the old batteries in they can see if it lasts in another six years <laughs> all right now let's take a side trip into the side of the garage in we go as you can see I'm not making things up there's another disc brake retractor set of tools <laughs> well now I know where those went let's see what else is in here there it is the Cobra and what is the Cobra it's a bore scope but it has UV and white LED lights regular white light makes sense because you got a bore scope you can look around you can look inside the engine you can look inside the vents to see if your AC is leaking and stuff you can use it to look at all kinds of stuff. Only your imagination limits what you can look at, but why oh why would it have a UV light in it too? Well, it has a UV light because let's say your air conditioner is leaking. You put UV leak dye in it. Your engine or transmission is leaking. You can also put UV leak dye for that type of boil. Different dye, but you can buy them. When you have this on the ultraviolet light, you'll be able to see it glowing. You will see 
the dye coming out because the UV light makes the dye glow stronger. And just to ensure you'll see it, it also comes with these cool yellow sunglasses. Then that makes the dye stand out even more with UV light. And guess what? Scotty's got like three of these things lying around from different manufacturers. They all work perfectly fine, so I'm giving this one away. If you want to try to win one of these, just put a clean, non-offensive comment on the YouTube comments below, and you may be picked by the magical computer to win one of these interesting tools. Because my collection of boxes is just getting too big. I can't bring everything to Tennessee. I'm giving a bunch of it away. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.